Senator. On Monday, you asked. Well, I think the president is in a tug of war with uh, his opponents. Uh, the question is, do I think the president's a racist? No, and let me tell you why. If you're a Somali refugee and you were wearing a MAGA hat and you're a big Trump fan, you'd probably be having dinner <clears throat> at the White House. So he lashes out at people who are critical of him and, and his view that are hurting the country, and that's what this is all about. Do you think it's appropriate for him to tell people to go back to his uh, place? This has been nah, used historically nah, nah, to tell people to leave this country. What do nah. you think of those remarks? I don't think he would tell the Somali refugee who was wearing a MAGA hat to go back. I think it's about the behavior of the people, but it was probably not the best way to say it. It was those words do have meaning in the past, and I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have tell any American citizen to go back home because this is home. During the campaign, I hit him as hard as I could hit him. I lost him one. I want him to be successful, and I've come to know the guy, and I really do believe that if you're a Somali refugee who likes Trump, he's not going to say go back to Somalia. A racist says go back to Somalia because you're Somalian or you're Muslim or whatever. That's just the way he is. It's more narcissism than anything else. And, uh, you know, uh, the other side, they've got the same problem, too. These four members of Congress, um, maybe they're not communists. Maybe that was too hard. They are definitely socialist. According to other Democrats, they view them as socialists. So we are where we are. So I think it's more likely that impeachment's going to be had now. Once you vote to say the guy's a racist, then it makes it harder for you not to impeach if you think they're grounds. And if they use the Mueller report uh, for impeachment, I think it will blow up in their face politically. I think it will help the president. I think they will be going against the grain of the public. We did that with Clinton, and it didn't work for us, and I don't think it'll work for them. You know, the House is going to do what it's going to, the House is going to do. If the issue came up in the Senate, I wouldn't vote for it. Why not? I don't think the president is a racist. I don't think his, uh, his original tweet was racist. I think it was a poor choice of words. Um, I, I worried when I first saw his tweet that, that uh, some immigrants to our country might be offended. Uh, we, we're, we welcome about a million people a year to become naturalized citizens something we're all proud of. I think the president, he didn't say this, but I think the president uh, had some concern. That's why he quickly clarified. And, and what I heard him say in clarification was, uh, this is not China, this is not North Korea, this is America. And if you hate our country, you're free to leave anytime you want to. I'm not apologizing. I do think they're whack jobs. Uh, I don't mean any disrespect, but I, they, maybe they think I'm a whack job, but I think they're whack jobs. I don't think they... They, in fact, I, 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 uh, when this originally came out, I, I suggested to the president that, that he shouldn't even make a comment. Arguing with a fool just means they're two. Um, you know, rule number one in politics is never interrupt your opponent when he's screwing up. Um, th these four congresswomen have moved the, the party. They're running the House of Representatives. Um, they have moved the party well to the left. Look, if I didn't know better, I'd think they were Republican plants. They're destroying the, the Democratic Party, and I don't think that's healthy for America.